Like I say, I mean, they covered it up a lot, and my own videos are the only ones that there are left. I mean, the, those who were there knew how it went. I know, I know how it went. But basically, you know, I mean, we lost Germany at some point. Um, I mean, they were they were trying to get us, trying to bomb us, and they've been trying to bomb us for quite some time. And um, and they were, it was just the whites, the pure whites, pure whites, man, and the pure blacks, basically, that were that that, that were attacking pretty much. I'm pretty sure, like, like they they said, oh, it's the French, oh, it's this, oh, it's that. It's like now those were people were not French. They were pure white and pure black, and a whole bunch of cream color, black people, and and they're just crazy, you know. They they're trying to do a, they they figured with enough people, with 130,000 people or 100 120,000 people, that victory was assured, and it really wasn't. Like I said, we killed a lot of them, like we had a lot of bullets. They figured that if they rushed us with 130,000 people, that there's no way in hell that 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 we're gonna win. And um, like I said, we had night vision scopes and everything else. And like I say, they smashed the night vision scopes and then ran back. Later on, they'd call us war criminals and this and that. And it's like we were not war criminals. We were defending our our our, our town. We were defending our city. Like just like like how is it exactly as a war it's a war criminal if you're defending if you're defending your own house and your own country and basically these people are just running across and getting shot by you like what one hundred thirty thousand people cross a channel a shark infested channel I was like I was like what one hundred thirty thousand people cross a, a shark infested channel and they're coming forward for ice cream or a drink. I don't think 130,000 people cross the channel and are coming over over for a good time or the nightlife of the city. Like, no. That was a mass attack, and they all had knives. So, so they were going to rape and kill every single one of those the, those city people if they had actually stayed there. Like I said, we got out as many people as we could, but when when they attacked Spain, you know, that was that was a, uh, an African white mass attack and you know everyone knew what was going on like just because they lie about it now or they lied about it afterwards like you know i mean the, and then tried to call us war criminals like we're not war criminals for defending our own fucking country the black people we're war criminals it's like just because you died in mass like, fuck off like, i was a part of that attack ls Lucifer. That's why they wanted to kill me because I was the epic war general. Like I, like I said, we already had the, the the defense plans for all those cities. Like we, when we built the cities, we actually had a defense plan for those cities because it's like, well, they could mass attack at some point. So I didn't even have to be there for for my troops to actually do the right thing. Everybody knew. The whole town knew. The whole city knew exactly what to do. It was already planned out. The night vision scopes were already dished out to everybody. Everyone knew who was a spotter. Everyone knew who wasn't a spotter. Everyone knew what was going on in that town. When that when that when Spain was 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 attacked by the blacks and the whites, mostly blacks, um, everyone knew exactly what to do. And you can call them French people that attacked, or you can call them this, you can call them that, but they're still just black and white people, mostly black. Anyway. And some piece of shit white people or whatever are the ones who shot my, my Germans in the back of the head to let them in on the other side. They're on this other side, the the black and the, they, they were rushing into Germany and some piece of shit white boys came up and basically shot my German soldiers in the back of the head and overwhelmed on the, there was like 150 white people I'm doing a secret mission. You know, like, and they went out up and they shot my, my my German soldiers in the back of the head, and that's how they got through. They came in from the back and they just ran up and basically, you know, a bunch of piece of shit people. You know, they were promised everything under the sun in Germany, like like oh yes 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 Mr. Uh, I'm playing pretending to be Mr. Black Man. Yes 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 yes. We'll give you cars, house, your choice of women, whatever. Anyway, they strung them up because as soon as the black people got there, it's like you're white and you're and you're um, and you betrayed them. So if you betrayed them, you're going to betray us sooner or later. 
shoot them. <laughs> Actually, I think they might have hung them or something like that. So those white boys did not get anything good. They got killed. And, oh well. That's what you get for betraying your country. Anyway, they were there and they were on their secret mission. And they killed some, killed my German soldiers, shot them in the back of the head, you know, from coming up from behind. And then they let, let the black people in. And the black people slaughtered them for their trouble. So, oh well. Of course the enemy is going to betray you. You really think the enemy is going to be your friend? <laughs> black people didn't give a fuck about that. Anyway, it was, Nixon was a part of it anyway, and you know, and JFK was. Later on, they were they they, they, were, they were having or, or 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 you know, JFK was up there. You know, later on in the German schools, going <laughs> shooting all these white girls, which were from Sweden. They they went they went and took over and got some. They got some Swedish girls to go to to go to Germany or found some Swedish girls coming to Germany or something like that. And then they were they put them in the schools and were basically raping them. Germany was like rape zone, you know, for a while there, you know, Germany was on the do not fly list, you know, after it got taken over, they, they said they came in and they were taking over everything and just a bunch of black people and a bunch of white people, and they took over the whole country for a while, until we, we finally beat them out, so, somewhat, I don't know if they're still, they're probably still over there, I said, I, mostly I was just like, we gotta get to America. This place isn't safe. We can't defend this place. America's the only safe place. Like over there, we we can get a foothold, but not over here. Um, you know, I mean, y Europe is just too big. There's no way in hell. It's it's just too big. So I was too spread out. I was like, I can't. I have Panama, and and I can't defend this much territory. I can't do a worldwide defense. So I was like, you guys are just, you know, I want to, de I wanted to de defend Germany and everything, but it's like, you know, it's only a matter of time because I'm trying to, because I was trying to maintain every place. And it's like, I, I was spread too thin. Like, Germany is one country with, with one, with one army. Like, they couldn't defend every territory. So we tried to help out in Spain and we lost a lot of guys there and they backed up. Like, I mean, you know, you got to defend your own home. So, and that's why we had local militia and all that other stuff. It's like, you know, I don't even live here. I mean, I'm not, I, I, I mean, I own Germany, but Germany was assisting with, with all these other countries trying to, you know, so they didn't have to face mass attack. And that's why everyone loved Germany because we provided tanks, we were in tanks, you know, we produced tanks. And it's like, it's my metal, my steel, and I just am trying to stop other people from, from dying, you know, people I don't even know. Like people would say, he doesn't even know Spain, you know, he doesn't even know the Spaniards, really. But he still wants to help. It's like, yeah, I still want to, I mean, you know, I mean, I did invest in Spain, and I had companies there, factories there, so, you know, even though I'm not there anymore, or wasn't there anymore, and I moved, you know, doesn't mean I didn't want to help them, of course. I mean, I don't want women and children to die. So, that's why everyone loved Germany, because, you know, I was... <laughs> You know, the last stand in Germany. And eventually I lost Germany. We were up into Poland. You know, it's like, fuck. We're in Poland. We lost our country. It's like, yeah, well, shit happens. When too many people attack, you know, it's like, and I was spread too thin. Like, they got in. It took them 55 years or 75 years, but they got in. Of course. Eventually I'm going to, you know, eventually they're going to get in. So anyway, if they keep trying, they tried their whole lives to, to do that one maneuver and then just to go, to get shot in the head by the black people. Like they thought they were going to get so much. Like they actually got more before they died. <laughs> Once they did the attack and, and turned on the, on, on, on the Germans, they got shot in the head that day. We helped you, man. We helped. <laughs> like that's what you get, you idiots. What do you think? You think they're really going to help you out? Really going to let you live in a house? Oh, your girlfriend might, as they're fucking her. But you stupid black, you stupid white boys. I mean, they 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 shot them. They killed them. They were young, twenty-year-old or fifteen-year-old kids, and they shot them.